Good morning. I uh, got another request here today. Uh, this one was to see um, uh, the Panzer Messiah against uh, the Orange Julius. Uh, this is one of Royal's ACs. So, um, yeah, uh, both uh, pretty similar here. I, I would say in general the Orange Julius just functions better. Uh, it is edited from the version that uh, he had posted up, actually, uh, for two reasons. Uh, for one, uh, the... Okay, uh, for whatever reason, uh, when it comes to the double shot cores, uh, specifically uh, this one on, well, both of the cores being used in this fight, uh, both of them have a weird thing with the AI. Uh, for whatever reason, they don't seem to function properly. Um, not sure if uh, if Azor ends up saying this, if uh, he and you know could shed some light as to what exactly happened there. But either way, both of them seem to have a thing where they only work at super close range and just. In general, uh, the idea was to make them comparable. So the shell core seems to be entirely broken. The uh, EO double shot core, I feel like it works a little bit better, but it's still not particularly good. Uh, the Orange Julius was also supposed to use the same rifle as the Panzer Messiah, but, um, well, it was also already in use, so I just went ahead and swapped it out for this one. Uh, everything else is the same as it was in the video. Um, seems to function about the same, and actually I was really happy with how it ran. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Uh, personally, I'm thinking the Orange Julius probably is going to take this one. Uh, just in general, uh, the missiles are going to be more reliable than the rockets. Uh, it's got a stronger blade. Uh, its EO is potentially less buggy. And um, well, it's got a little bit of a defense advantage going on too. So for another thing, uh, it also prob would probably help if I went and turned my settings correctly. One of these days I'll remember to do that before actually starting this thing, but today is not that day. There we go, uh, actually it's pretty darn close so far. Yeah, I should note that the uh, when it comes to the weirdness with um, changing all the settings and everything else, it's mostly just because when I do the two different um, bits that I'm doing right now, uh, they basically all require different em emulation settings, which I have to go and reset each time anyway, and sometimes just on an off day they'll decide, well, I have to function a little differently today. Like uh, today, for example, it seems to prefer rendering resolution at two times instead of three times. Um, some days it'll work fine on five. Hell if I know why, it just sort of has a mind of its own. Um, okay, I'm a little surprised here. Uh, uh, I'm really surprised that the Panzer Messiah is actually winning this. Or no, 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 I'm mixing them up, aren't I? Am I? Wait, what is that? No, that is the, the, uh, pan okay, never mind, I am completely mixing it up. Um... No, but they're still pretty close. They're still pretty close. <laughs> You'd think it would have helped that I started aligning them in the menu based on their colors, but nope. That's ah, okay. As the saying goes, not every blind person can see. Alright, so first one goes to the dessert. Very close there, though. I'd say that was one of the nicer fights recently. Oh, by the way, if you want to see BB against someone, he's in here now. I uh, added uh, BB and, um... Oh, what's his face? Bremen. So, uh, yeah. They're in here. Just figured there was a distinct lack of shotgun bazookas going on. Also, we're apparently in the mine again. I've decided to stop re-rolling whenever there's, um, the same map, unless it's really distinctly towards one or the other. Last fight was pretty good, so this should be fine. So, uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, the HUD elements don't really change any of the lag that occasionally happens or anything. It's mostly just for visual, uh, visual sake. I should probably show this one this time. I, I don't know what it is that's uh, different about him, but he seems to be very functionally evasive. Like, I've seen a lot of cases where he just, like, elegantly dodges out of the way of stuff, especially when it comes to missiles. Other times, you know, he'll just stand there, but, uh, when I was putting him against the test ACs, like, he was, he was doing a really good job of dodging things. And there's another example of both their EOs being a bit busted. 
So, I guess it's a pretty uh, similar kind of situation here. Though, unfortunately, they do not rely on their EO as much. Hm. Oh. Okay, I think the uh, pens might have it this time. Or the Faust. I don't know. Every time I looked at looked at that guy's name, I'm assuming it's supposed to stand for something else, obviously, because it has that dot on the name. Oh, maybe his name was just, like, Gregor Faust, so he's G-Faust. But, like, every single time, the thing in, like, a weird, like, gangster German, like, being all awkward and super white, and all trying to look all ghetto at the same time. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks, yo. <laughs> Engineering. Oh well, there's a lot of weird references and stuff that I just completely misunderstand. Alright, so that one goes to the Messiah that time. No, this is uh, this is a good one. I wasn't sure just based off their builds, but um, yeah, this is this is doing alright. Alright, so got the Nexus City. <laughs> With their nicer frame rate in here. Can you ever truly be ready? So, hopefully, uh, this is one of the maps that he was shown to be really uh, good at dodging here. But it was something to do with um, his speed, his tendency towards uh, really uh, leaning hard into, uh, into his side move there. And the fact that he's been uh, given the upgraded uh, radar chips basically to uh, go and not chips but the uh, upgraded radar optionals that make them a little better at dodging now I haven't gotten confirmation on this uh, but it feels like the improved radar range one um, does more than just improve range like, I, I honestly feel like it gives some of them a better uh, better dodge chance I could be completely wrong on that but the few times that I've used it, it seems like they were better at dodging stuff. Uh, basically, the thing was, it had a couple extra points left over because of the different cores, so figured what the hell, why not? Yeah, nice uh, non-use of those EOs there. Of course, I mean, I say that, and he's apparently managing to make all of his own shots miss while completely taking all of the other guys. Oh well. I'm happy to see that uh, PM is at least doing his same blading thing that he normally does in LR. Also another funny thing, um, I believe that Julius actually had the turning extend, or the uh, turning optional, so Kind of funny to see it having a little bit of a hard time with the turns here. But I think it's going to win this one. And I think it's all just going to come down to whether or not uh, he uses at least some of the EOs. Uh, so far the PM here has... well... Does he even have the... Uh, sometimes I question whether he even has them. Does he? Wait, he doesn't even have them. Wait, it's the... oh no 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 no. I'm an idiot. Okay, no, it's the uh, the warlord that has it. All right. Well, uh, we'll just you know what? Whatever. We're already two thirds into this thing. We're keeping this train wreck going now. Okay. So let's see if uh, if Orange gets his uh, his third one here. We're in the mushroom base. Perhaps they get some munchies for some orange Julius. I don't know. And I haven't been to that place in like, hell, like a decade now. I still pass by it every now and then, but I actually haven't gone and had anything from Orange Julius. I think it's just because they were really freaking overpriced around here. And I'm not going to go and get a $6 shake, for God's sake. Hell, I'm usually too cheap to buy anything but water. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think this one's going to the Julius. He seems to have unbugged his EO. Or at least the range seems to be suitable for it. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, the reason that I went for this rifle as opposed to the other burst rifle uh, was just simply due to the fact that the stats were the closest. Uh, the attack power and firing speed are... I, the attack speed is identical, or the um, damage is identical. Uh, the attack speed was only two off, so I figured close enough. Um, the other one had about a 20 difference in damage, so I figured, you know what, slightly different uh, firing speed, make up for it in reload time. It's fine. That'll work just fine. I kind of wish they had the option to remove the weapon restrictions, like the clip sizes and things like that. To have this run off AC3 rules. Like, give somebody an infinite machine gun and just, like, watch as stuff flies for about the entire match. I'm not even sure. Mm. I think... Yeah, I think the 1000 MG, if it was firing from start to finish, like, it would probably last almost to the very end. Hmm. I just wanted to test that at some point. Who actually won that? Oh, okay, yeah, the, the Julius won it. So there you go. You know, desserts over crazy Germans. Uh, anyway, let me know if you have any others. Have a good one.